Hi, this is Rick from Mark for Life. I'm coming to you here from the bathroom. We are the newest members of Team Alexander Brand. Uh, we are a tattoo shop, full service, custom art piercings will blow your mind. I hope you enjoyed the show. This is our pilot episode. Don't change the channel. Get you down, you're the best. Oh, Okay, so why don't you tell us a little bit about this piece and why you're planning on getting it? Um, I got this for my grandfather. He was a firefighter for Grand Fire Company. Um, I got it for him and all of the firefighters that put their life on the line every day. Awesome, awesome. That's respectable. Um, did uh, has your grandfather ever seen it? What does your family think? Um, actually, he never saw it because he died before I was born. But um, my family loves it so far. They think it's awesome, and they uh, they're happy I'm doing it. Yeah, they're happy it's like an homage to your grandfather. That's cool. Um. Did you ever plan on being a firefighter or anything? Or? No, I never did. I just always respected them. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, cool. Let's get started. All right. Hi, I'm Cecily Megason. You just met my husband, Rick Megason. I am co-owner co of Mark for Life Tattoo. Uh, I've been tattooing for about six and a half years now. Rick taught me. Uh, I've been around it since I was 12. My cousin started tattooing then and I picked it up very naturally. Uh, one of my favorite tattoo stories is back when I first started tattooing. I had a very, very nice lady that didn't speak English very well, wanted the Monroe mole on her face and I wasn't sure that the translation was getting across just right, you know. Y you want that on your face? Yes. Right there on your face? Yes. Well, that's going to hurt. Yes. Okay, well, lay down. Let's get started. And, and I did it and she was very, very happy with it. She came back to see us a couple times after that, actually. It was a really nice lady. And uh, yeah, I hope to see her again in the future, actually. Uh, that's about all for me. Uh, I gotta go do a tattoo now, so if you need to see me, come see me at Mark for Life. What's up, everybody? My name's uh, Sean Sailor. Uh, people call me Sailor, people call me Sean. You can call me yours if you're, you know, the right person. Either way, uh, when I'm not sitting on a toilet, I'm the uh, piercer here at Mark for Life. Um, been working in the industry. If I have to think about it here and do the math, I've been working in the industry and piercing for soon to be eight years, I do believe. Um, you know, there isn't a single piercing I really don't like to do. I'd say my favorites are probably, you know, complex surface stuff, larger projects. But I'm also a really, really big fan of nostril piercings. Um, I know they're kind of plain Jane and ordinary, but they're some of the most fun to do. Uh, it's really, really easy and surprising how fast you can get a basic piercing done if you know what you're doing. Um, I don't know where to go from here. I lost my train of thought. And um, say, as uh, far as uh, one of the more interesting piercings, I mean, there's, there's plenty to talk about. Uh, the first set of nipple piercings I ever did, and it's no fault of her own, was on a young lady who actually she was probably, I'd say in her late 60s. Um, she had had gastric bypass surgery about four or five months beforehand. I don't know if you guys know what gastric bypass surgery does to the human body, but it basically turns you into a giant skin suit. It's kind of like wearing a mascot costume made out of your skin. So you know, everything kind of points to the ground. Um, marking said piercing was really, really interesting. It was the first set I ever did. Basically, me, you know, young piercer, super embarrassed. I had to literally kneel down on the ground at one point and mark her like this. And then explain to her that that was the best reason why, because her uh, boobies point at the ground. Not exactly the awesomest conversation, but, you know, they don't always work that way. Either way, um, look at the time. I think I have a piercing to do, so I'll catch you guys later. Oh, wait, hold on.
No reaction. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? We're good. No, this is a reaction. Look at your legs. I'm not watching your legs. Is it a lot? No. I'm just making sure any of the blood that got ground into your hair is lifted up. As you swell, these guys are going to go kind of crazy cockeyed. As long as you keep them taped like we talked about, they will heal exactly in position. This guy's already starting to puff up a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. Get a shot. Minus that little spot of blood there. We'll wipe that up. However, they look awesome when they're done. It's pretty, uh, it's got some street cred there. You know tattoos make you fight better, right? No, that's right, that's, that's right. That's, that's a fact. Fact. <laughs> Proven fact. It is a proven fact. Somebody great once said that. I can't think of who, though. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I remember. He's an asshole. <laughs> All right. Get out of the chair. Look at all that detail. It's oh, phenomenal. It's amazing. Dude. I'm glad you dig it, man. That's okay. So, hi. I just finished up with Richie. You guys met him a couple weeks ago when I started the outline on his sublime sleeve. And then we just went through and added the black shading and beefed up all the lines so they're nice and thick. And we thought you guys might want to see what it looks like when it's all done with its black and gray shading. Yeah, lean in there, let them see the back, see the wonderful 40 and the cloud and the pot leaf and the monies. And then we come around and I, I just went in what was there just a little bit just to make it blend in with what we got going on already. And then when we finally get to come back in here, we're going to hit the drum again. He did not like that area. It was sensitive there. So <laughs> it was very sensitive. So we decided to stop while we were ahead. And the next time he comes back, we're just going to start coloring her in so that it can be a whole complete sleeve. Full of color. Full of color. And we were very excited to show you what we got done today. So there you are. Now we're going to go sit on the couch and play, some, play video games and say swear words. So. So part of my duties here at the shop are, uh, you know, a shop manager, uh, are to answer the Hold on. I'm sorry. Do you, do you, do you know where the phone is? No. Tell me how you feel about golden retrievers. Oh my god. Really?